<laughs> Hello, this is Bern, and if you'd like to know how to open your heart and be brave again with a man, stick around because this video is for you. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life view.com. I am super excited to share with you that today I'm launching a brand new segment on my show. It's a weekly segment called Ask Burn, where any of you get to ask me a question on love, intimacy, sex, connecting with men, understanding men. So if you're interested in asking me a question, stay until the end where I'll share with you exactly how you can do that and have a video created just for you. <laughs> Today's initial question comes from a courageous woman. Her name is Abigail Falcon and here's her question. She says, I'd love to learn how to open myself and connect with my heart to the man that I'm getting to know as a friend. It just so happens that we've both confess we like each other. Uh, but I push him away because I don't know how to communicate and I'm scared. The only boyfriend I had was three years ago, so I'd love to know how I can open my heart, be brave and feel confident in myself again. Abigail, this is such a powerful question and I'm choosing to answer this not just because it's gonna help you, but also it's gonna help a lot of women who get to ask me this question one from another all the time. Uh, let's say that you were hurt in the past or maybe someone um, you've been out of the dating game for a while, you've been married, now you're divorced and you want to start things all over again and you don't feel as confident as you used to or you've never felt confident, if you fit into any of this criteria, this is for you. And here's what I would say to you. Number one is understand that the price to pay to experience the kind of amazing love that you want is twofold. Number one is getting uncomfortable. There is no amazing love without risking and getting uncomfortable. Second price you have to pay is you have to be willing to get hurt again. And that's a big one for many because a lot of women say, I want to experience love, but I don't want to get hurt. It's BS. It's not going to happen. If you want to experience love, you will get hurt again. Now, the level of hurt doesn't have to be someone leaves you or someone cheats on you, but you will get hurt again. If you understand that and you're willing to risk that, then you can get the amazing price of getting the love you want. So that's the first one. The second understanding that I need you to have is that you need to own your fear. Uh, first, the understanding is there's nothing wrong with having fear. <laughs> Most human beings feel afraid of connecting to another. To feel vulnerable, to feel emotionally uh, naked in front of someone, it's a very big step to take. So the way you get around this is to understand that you start feeling fear the moment you stop connecting to an amazing open physiology. And all that means is that you want to be very conscious of physically how you're connecting to the person that you're connecting with. So I, I, I bet that the moment you start feeling anxious, your physiology is more closed and your breathing is not deep. So if I were to give you just one tip that you can do right away, is whenever you start feeling that fear creeping in, I want you to open your shoulders. Nobody has to know you're doing this. And breathe more deeply into your heart. Breathe more deeply. You can even smile as you're doing this. Smile, breathe, and open your shoulders. And from this place, You'll still feel afraid, but you'll feel significantly less afraid than if you're not breathing and your shoulders are wide and you're not smiling, okay? So change your physiology and feel the fear instantly minimize in strength, okay? The third suggestion that I'll give to you, if you really want to get this, is that this takes practice. You're not going to do this once and you're going to feel like, oh my God, I can take on the world. The way you're going to step into this fear and break free from it and connect to man in the way you really want to is to practice it. Uh, so my advice to you is that you go 10% deeper than you usually would. Because if you think about it, now I'm going to turn myself into this amazingly different woman who shows up and smiles and communicates perfectly. You're going to feel scared and you're going to feel like it's too big of a jump. But if you think about 10% more than you usually do, if you don't smile, now you don't smile. If you don't <laughs> embrace people, now you embrace people. If you don't talk about yourself, you take it 10% deeper and you talk about yourself. If you take it 10% deeper than you usually do and you do it consistently, over the course of a couple of weeks, a month, two months, you're a different woman. And that's what I'm talking about. That momentum will carry you through. So that's what I recommend for you. If you want to open your heart again, openness is physiology and requires constant practice. If you practice this and you have the prize, ultimate prize, which is getting the love you want, then I know you'll get this. <laughs> if you think this is powerful, fun, exciting, I'll recommend three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, if you leave a comment below, that's the easiest way for me to create a video for you. Any of my videos, 
You can ask a question, I respond to them personally. But if I find that your question is very compelling, I'll create a video for you and help many other women along the way as well. So final, final thing I'll say right now is that if you haven't done so already, please click on the link on the description of this video and you can subscribe to my free video um, <laughs> webinar, my free video webinar, my free webinar that will show you how to connect to the man of your dreams, the man you want in 90 days or less. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always, uh, I ask you to live a full and conscious life. <laughs>